Rory's a little bit nervous, but I just assured him I just watched a bunch of little kids doing it, so I'm sure he'll be all right. Oh no. So it's a sea day and I wanted to highlight some of the fun things to do on the ship. There are things like lawn bowling, playing in the water, volleyball, ping pong, board games, bingo. And the Edge also offers more like segways, trampoline, laser tag, virtual reality, and more. So here we are on a sea day and we wanna do all of the fun stuff there is to do. By the way, this is not a paid advertisement for P&O. This was just a question for my last Q&A video that I wanted to make a full video on. So I wanna bring you to Rory because you'll get sick of my face. So Rory is gonna help me do all the fun stuff on the ship. Yeah, I'm really excited. There's so much you can do on the sea days, especially with the Edge program as well. Uh, but for now, uh, we're by the water slide, so let's have a little bit of fun on these. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. We're going to go with the disco one, I think. Let's go. And here we go. So refreshing when you come down. It's really quick and as all the water splashes into your face, it's really energizing as well and great, great fun. Make sure you do have a go when you're on board the Pacific Explorer. Woo. Uh, and we're going to play a little bit of archery today. Being from England, we do have Sherwood Forest and I am actually one of Robin Hood's merry men. That was pretty close, that was my close. first ever go. Yeah, it really, it's a lot harder than what it actually looks. So I'm now on the big bow and arrow. Oh! I can safely say that archery is definitely not the one for me. I think I'm just gonna leave it up to the kids today. I think they're the professionals. Oh! We're going to walk the plank now with Rory, Deputy Cruise Director. Now, I've never done this before. Uh, obviously walk the plank, that's what pirates used to do. Let's see if I'm brave enough to do it. Rory's a little bit nervous. Oh no. I don't know if I'm this brave. I'm really scared. Baby steps. Oh. Are you going to turn around and face me? I'm going to do what? Now, I must admit, but if you are a bit more daring, it's definitely something to do, it's so high up. All you're going to do is put one hand off, and then put your other hand off. Oh. <laughs> there we go. If I was a pirate, I'd never want to walk the plank. All right, here we go. So we're now about to try the Titanic experience. Myself and Mr. Danny Black, uh, we are going to be Jack and Rose. <laughs> I'm king of the world! That's romantic. That was the Titanic experience. In front of the explorers, far forward as you can get without, you know, falling in. <laughs> I like it. We're now getting all our secure ropes put on and ready to do the Flying Fox. And you can do it from any age, as long as you're between the age of 6 to 106. Knock it off your bucket list, it's great, great fun. That's really, really good fun. That is by far my favorite activity out of all the edge ones. You can take it really simple, or if you want to be a bit more daring, it's what you make of it. So the more daring you think you are, the better you can do. But you can do as little as you want, and it's a great, great activity. So as you can see, there is enough to keep you busy on board. Thanks for your help, Rory, and keep watching. There's more videos to come. He's so much better with the guitar string. <laughs> and if you want to help support this channel, just click that subscribe button. And if you want to watch more, start with this one.